Not much has been revealed about Mass Effect Andromeda. It's been almost a year since we saw the teaser trailer, and it really is all the news that we got from the game, besides a few leaks. E3 is coming in a few months, and we are sure that we are getting more information on Mass Effect Andromeda. So on that note, here are 7 things that we would love to see in the next Mass Effect game. My name is Tucker, and welcome to Mass Effect Follower. Each game has brought new races to the Mass Effect universe, so it's safe to assume that Mass Effect Andromeda will be no different. Rumors have gone around about what some of those few races might be. One was an ancient, advanced guardian race similar to the Protheans, while the other is said to have a skeletal look. We don't know if these rumored races would be allies or enemies, but either way, they sound pretty cool. Now, it is hard to have a third-person shooter without weapons. We've had modifications throughout the three games and have been introduced to heavy weapons. What we would like are more customizable features. Not just two slots where you can put your upgrades, but new features brought in from other games. You could add different scopes to your rifle to fit your playstyle, extended magazines, or a different magazine altogether to add to your assault rifle, pistol, or shotgun. Things like that could drastically alter the way you play the game, but in a good way. Speaking of customization, what about being able to customize your vehicle? We know that the Mako will be making a comeback in Mass Effect Andromeda, so what if we could customize it depending on the scenario? If we are on our way to a big battle, we could add armor to it, making it stronger but less maneuverable, and vice versa for if you're exploring, to give it more of a hammerhead feel, making it more maneuverable or giving it better handling while exploring and roaming around new planets. We got a taste of this in the Mass Effect 2 DLC, and that only served to make us hungry for more. Having more to explore is almost a given. Exploration is a huge part of Mass Effect, and we would love to have more to explore in Mass Effect Andromeda. With the new consoles having more power, we could have more planets to explore, have different climates, and types of landscape with indigenous life roaming around. It would really make the world feel more alive, and would bring the immersion up to a whole new level. Mass Effect has never gone shy on giving players side missions. Each game has over 50 side missions that the player can decide to do if he or she pleases. Something that would be great to have in Mass Effect Andromeda is more side missions that don't affect the story. Now, before you start getting angry, let us explain our reasoning. We think it would be a nice change to have a few side missions that don't have an apocalyptic atmosphere looming overhead, similar to those in Mass Effect 2. They don't even have to be big ones. Maybe some side mission where you are delivering crates or supplies to some planet, something that doesn't have an effect on whether or not you do it. This would serve to make you feel like you're in a living, breathing galaxy that still happens when you're not there. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. In the original trilogy, the Citadel was really the only main hub for the players, with the rumor of the story being about exploring and expanding the known universe, having more than one hub would be great. Different hubs could have different stores and deals. The place could change and react differently to how many Paragon and Renegade points you have. Maybe there could be a black market hub that gives you better deals if you're Renegade or different missions based on your alignment. Expanding on the Skyhold customization mechanic of Dragon Age Inquisition would be an excellent addition. Games are better with friends, as proven with Mass Effect 3's excellent multiplayer mode. It was a Horde-style mode where you and up to three others hold off while waves of enemies attack. It was a load of fun, but co-op campaigns could be a fantastic addition. It could be the same style as Far Cry 4's Drop In and Drop Out, where you can't play the main story, but you can do side quests with your friends. It could still have the Horde mode similar to the Pinnacle Station DLC, where the enemies are holograms, just don't design the campaign completely around co-op, the single player adventure is key to the Mass Effect experience. These are the 7 things that we would love to see in Mass Effect Andromeda. What do you think of this list? Do you agree or disagree? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.